Hi, I'm Deanne Cole and I'm an attorney with Bakke Norman Law Office. It's not uncommon for a recently divorced borrower to tell their lender, hey, I want to get my ex-wife or ex-husband off the loan I have with you. The typical reason for the borrower's demand is an agreement the borrower made with his or her former spouse in the underlying divorce action. In a divorce, one party usually accepts responsibility for a debt. That party then customarily agrees to hold harmless within the divorce agreement. The hold harmless clause essentially says that if the responsible party defaults and the assigned debt and the lender come to the non-responsible party for payment, the responsible party will hold the non-responsible party harmless from any damages, meaning money paid. Additionally, after a divorce, if the non-responsible party remains responsible on the loans, at least on paper, and those loans or obligations will continue to show on his or her credit, which can make obtaining future credit difficult. So, when the borrower comes to you and asks that you take the ex-husband or wife off the loan, what do you do? The lender is under no responsibility to remove the ex-spouse. While the spouses may have agreed between each other who would be responsible for the debt, the lender's rights to collect from either spouse are unaffected. In short, the divorce agreement does not bind the lender. If collection efforts would ever need to commence on the debt, the lender could seek recovery from either or both spouses. The non-obligated spouse's recourse is against the spouse who agreed to take the debt, not the lender. In summary, when a borrower gets divorced and comes to an agreement with his or her ex-spouse in the divorce, the lender is not obligated to play along, but it may choose to if it so pleases.